Hello. This is Sweet June, 2010. Uh, chilling out on a nice Saturday. Well, it's not so nice out. It's raining. <laughs> um. Anyway. Um. I don't want to keep beating a dead horse. Um, been talking about single motherhood lately. I guess it's because I'm a single mom and, you know, I'm concerned about other single moms and, you know, um, it's, it's just what I know, you know. This is who I am and this is what I know, just, you know. So, um, I'm familiar with some other subjects. Not, I'm going to be talking about other subjects. I talk about other subjects, but this is the the subject that I have I I have the most knowledge about because I've been doing this for many years, <laughs> so I'm kind of an expert at it, you know. So, and I'm concerned about the young single moms out here, and I just want to get some messages across to these young single mothers. Um, I want to talk about um, I know that there's a lot of single moms out here statistically it's supposed to be 70 percent supposed to be um, there is a lot of single motherhood hood out here, um, and that's a good question. Um, why is there not a lot of single mothers? That's a good question. Why? Um, I've been looking at a lot of YouTube videos on here of a lot of guys on here, and a lot of a lot of them are talking about. Um, there, some of them are just blatantly coming out saying. Just don't date single moms, you know. Uh, a lot of them are talking about the reasons why men shouldn't date single moms, the reasons why they won't date single moms. And so that's what I want to talk about. Brings me to my current topic. I want to talk about um, not just from their perspective, but just... Um, my observations, uh, my experiences, and my observations, what I've observed in the many the years that I've been here on this earth, and um, you know, yeah, um, <coughs> listening to the videos, but just my own observations and my personal experience, I can speak from as well of uh, reasons why men don't want to date single moms. And so, um, what I think are some of the reasons why, now I talked about one of my other videos, <coughs> I talked about, um, one of my other videos that I did, I talked about, um, if you would look at some of my other videos, um, one of my other videos I talked about, um, the reasons um, why, and I talked about, I shared my personal story of a, a couple of relationships that I was in um, as a single mom, and <coughs> basically was talking about um, um, some of the reasons why men are apprehensive of dating single moms. Um, uh, hold on just a minute. What you need? You uh, got some socks. Did you put anything in the dryer? Uh-uh. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, I was talking to my son. Anyway, um, some of the reasons why I stated that I, you know, my, from my own personal experience was a lot of times they have a, a lot of insecurities. Um, the two guys that I was dating, and at the time I only had one child, 
and both of them seemed to be very insecure, you know. Um, they they thought that, you know, um, that I might have still had some feelings for my son's father, and I didn't, you know. Um, I had the opportunity to stay with him, but I didn't because of, you know, I had my reasons for not staying with him. And um, I'm the type of person that, um, if, if, you know, um, if I can't see a future with you, there's no reason for me to continue a relationship with you if I don't see a future with you. doesn't make any sense. So, um, you know, I just, uh, you know, felt like they were insecure. They felt like, and one of the guys that I was with, I, I got my heart broke severely because he thought that I still had a relationship with my son's father and I might have still had some feelings there and so that kept him from um, opening up his heart and in the process he broke my heart you know and he wasn't he didn't have the maturity to come forth and be honest with me and tell me that he really didn't want a relationship with me he didn't feel comfortable with having a relationship with me and just that maybe he just wanted to have a good time and he didn't have the maturity to do that. Instead, he wanted to just string me along and lie to me and tell me he loved me, and he really didn't. Uh, the other guy I was with, uh, you know, uh, we was together on and off for four years, and, you know, he just, um, and, and there was some issues um, for my son's dad, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, um, he, there was some issues there, and that didn't help the situation. He was already having some insecurities, and that didn't help the situation. And so um, that made him apprehensive, and it caused problems in the relationship. Now, um, a lot of times when guys are dating single moms, if they will date you, a lot of times um, they will, most, a lot of guys will just, I won't say most guys, but a lot of guys will just shy away from dating single moms altogether because in their mind they're thinking, um, you know, I don't know if she's going to have some baby daddy drama. Um, you know, I don't know if this, how much this guy is in this child's life. Is he trying to get back into her life? Um, you know, is he going to cause problems in our relationship? And I think that's some of the thoughts that go through their head, you know. And they just shy away from it altogether. They don't want to deal with it altogether. They just figure it's too much of a hassle. They don't want to deal with it. So they shy away from it altogether. Now, some guys um, were like the, the one guy I told you about. <laughs> they want to string you along and pretend like they want a relationship with you. And it might be, maybe it's a situation to where they're having some mixed emotions. Maybe a part of them do care about you, but they're afraid they're going to get hurt because, you know, you're a single mom and you might go back to the daddy or whatever. I don't know what the situation is, but... Um, they're they're not honest. They're not honest with you, you know. And you give yourself to to them, emotionally, physically, and everything like that. And and then thinking that they feel the same way, but they really don't. And you get your heart broke, you know. So, um, you know, they, um, a lot of times guys, they just they um. You know, you I, like I said in my other video, I, I think a woman is is is, is lucky. <laughs> She's uh, a woman is blessed to find a man that will be with her, or that would that would that would be with you, and help you take on the responsibility of help raise, helping to raise another man's child. A lot of men don't want to take on that responsibility. A lot of men don't want to take on the responsibility of raising another man's child. And I think that was something that I didn't realize earlier on in my life. When my youngest son was born, you know, uh, I wanted, um, I remember, <laughs> I remember I put this picture online. I had this black dress on. And um, I took my son to take some pictures of me. <laughs> And this was I had got my I had got my first computer, I had got my first computer, and so um, I had put some pictures on. I think it was Black Voices. I think that was popular back then. 
and um, Black Voices and uh, MySpace and all them. Uh, uh, Black Planet, those were the, the sites in the early 2000s that were popular back then. I took this picture. I had the sexy black dress on. And, I mean, I got like 60-something hits off of that thing. And um, I got like 60-something hits, and guys were, you know, trying to hit me up and everything. And it was a it was a big ego booster for me after having a baby. But, um, you know, I was serious. I mean, I was really, really trying to find someone, a potential husband. You know, I was looking for a potential husband and a father figure to my kids because my youngest son's dad was nowhere in the picture, nor was he. He had any plans of being in the picture. So, you know, I wanted not just a husband from me, but a father figure to my kids. And so I was pretty serious about meeting someone and, and possibly uh, uh, having a relationship that possibly led to marriage. Well, you know, the online dating thing didn't work out for me. You know, I met some guys, but, you know, I just got, at, at, you know, in, at the end of the day, I just got really discouraged and just quit it all together, you know. I just got really discouraged and I just stopped doing it all together, but um <coughs> um to make a long story short. So I didn't realize earlier on at that age that um it wasn't going to be it wasn't going to be so easy for me to find someone, you know, to to have a, a relationship that led to marriage that's going to want to take on the responsibility of raising um, two men, because I, you know, got two kids by two different men. Kids. I mean, that's just the reality of it. I, I think at that, I think at that age, I didn't really, really realize the full gist of it. And I didn't really realize, have a full understanding that there's not a lot of men that's gonna be beating down your door, wanting to take on the responsibility of raising someone else's kids. You know, because they see it as baggage. They see it as baggage. You know, like she she got two kids by two different fathers. You know, um, and even when I had one child, just one child, there was issues when I was with someone. You know, with a couple of guys, and even then there was issues, and I only had one child at the time. So, a lot of times, you know, like I said, a lot of guys would shy away from it completely because they figure, you know, well, you know, they don't. They're afraid of the, there might be baby daddy drama, you know, and they're afraid of, um, sometimes, you know, they resent the fact that you're going after child support. You know, I think all men stick together, and um, I think they're all on the same page when it comes to that child support thing. And sometimes they resent the fact that you're going after the man for child support. I mean, why? I mean, if, uh, if, if a man is not going to voluntarily take care of his responsibilities, then, I'm sorry, you know, the child needs to be taken care of. You didn't make them by yourself. Well, that's a whole nother blog. I'm not going to get into that. However, you know, um, it's, it's a, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of different things. You know, some insecurities, you know, fear that um, you may still have feelings for the, the child's father, fear that the child's father might come back into the picture, fear that there will be drama from the child's father, um, you know, um, uh, resent, resenting the fact that you're, Going after child support from this from this man, um, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of issues there, and uh, like I said, a lot of guys they just avoid it all together. You know, they just say, "Well, yeah, I I I'd, I'd rather not even deal with it because I just you know I don't even want to deal with the hassle." <laughs> Some guys they just want to just have a good time with you and just keep it moving. And that's something that you have to be, as a single mom, you have to be very leery of. If you're looking to get married, if you're looking for a relationship that will potentially lead to marriage, that's not what you want. You want you don't want to be with a guy that's just want to have a good time with you and keep it moving. You know, you, you want someone that's going to potentially lead to a husband, you know. And so you have to be very particularly leery of that. You know, you have to be, you know, a, 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 a single mother, you know, you got to have, you got to be on your guard. You got to be on your guard emotionally, you know, because you don't want to get your heart broke. You don't want to get, you know, um, so you, a, a, a single mom, you know, um, as a single mom, you have to protect your heart. You know, you have to make sure that when you do date someone that this guy has the right intentions, 
You know, you have to make sure, you know, you find out what his intentions are. If he's looking for a potential wife or is he just looking out to, you know, looking to have a good time? Or is he looking to just have a relationship with you um, for many, many years and not <laughs> marry you? So, you know, you have to define, you have to figure out what you want as a single mom. And if, if marriage is your goal, then, you know, whoever you're dating, you have to make sure that, you know, you and this guy are on the same page. Because if you're not on the same page, there's no sense in you spending your wills with him. You know, you're wasting your time with him, you know. And so, um, you know, a single mother has to guard her heart. A single mother has to protect her heart to make sure that she doesn't get hurt. You know, and there's guys out here that don't have the right, a lot of guys out here that don't have the right intentions. You know, they, they get involved with these single moms that just want to have a good time and they just want to keep it moving. Well, if you want to get married, that's not what you want. You know, you don't want it just a fly-by-night kind of thing. You know, you want something that, a serious relationship that's going to lead to marriage. And and if you meet a guy and that's not what he he wants, then you need to know that earlier on as, as soon as possible so you can make your decision, you know, and, and not really waste your time, you know. Um, time is precious, you know, and life is too short to be wasting your time with someone that you're not going to have a future with. And so I, I think that's the reason why a lot of guys just, you know, shy away from dating single moms. They just, um, you know, and then it, if, if you have more than one um, thought baby daddy or, you know, like some women got, like I have two kids, by, unfortunately have two kids by two different dads. Some women got three and four kids by different dads. And sometimes they're looking at you like, okay, what's going on with you that you have so many kids by different fathers? What's going on with you, you know? Now, we all know that um, everybody makes mistakes. You know, everybody makes mistakes. Um, sometimes things happen. Um, everybody's situation is different. You know, a woman could have three kids by three different men, but she could have been in relationships with those guys, you know, and maybe it wasn't a fly-by-night thing. And so everybody's situation is different, you know. And so... Um, but guys have the tendency to think that way, have a tendency to think, okay, what's going on with you? Why you got so many baby daddies? And so when they see that, they're looking at, oh, my God, that's that's just too much baggage. I can't handle that. I can't deal with that. I mean, how many of these fathers are going to be trying to come into the picture? You know, how many of these fathers are going to try to cause problems in our relationship? And those are the things I think that, that be going through their head and they be thinking about. And they just, they're thinking it's too much. They just can't handle it, you know. And so... Um, that's just, uh, uh, you know, something that, it's something for um, women to think about. It's something for uh, young ladies to think about. Um, it, it's, it's, some, it's definitely something to think about, you know. Um, you know, when you're a single mom, you know, it, 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 it's, it's not hard. It's, 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 uh, it's very hard to find someone um, that will potentially be, a marriage mate because because of that you know and like I said when I after I had my uh, youngest son I didn't really realize that um, until as as years went on and time went on I started connecting the dots and I was like okay well I guess you know <laughs> it, it's not going to be like I thought it was going to be that you know I was going to you know find someone that was going to be a husband and would be a potential father figure for um, my kids. You know, it's it's really sad, but it's, you know, it is what it is. And so, you know, single moms, because of that, have to be strong. We have to be strong and we have to, uh, you know, just, you know, lean to God, you know, because, you know, it is what it is. I'm not saying that, um, you know, I, I, now don't get me wrong. I'm not trying, to, I'm not saying that, uh, you, you're definitely not going to meet someone and you're definitely not going to get married. That's not what I'm saying. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. Um, there's a lot of single mothers that have gotten married. You know, my sister was a single mom before she married my brother-in-law. She had my niece and she met my brother-in-law and, you know, she got married and she got married, you know. So um, it happens. And I know single moms that have gotten married, Um so it happens. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not on here saying that um, it's virtually impossible for you to get married as a single mom. The only thing I'm saying is, 
as I'm listening to reasons why guys shy away from dating women that have children and your chances of getting married are you know are a little slim you know um, uh, anything is possible um, and I believe that um, if it's meant to happen it will happen but I'm just saying that there is a lot of guys that do shy away from that you know situation you know I'm just being realistic you know I got to keep it 100 you know so um, I'm not I'm not saying that it's not going to happen. All I'm saying is the chances of it happen, happening is kind of slim, you know. So that's just something that, you know, as a single mom, as a young single mom, that you need to be aware of, you know, that a lot of guys are just not going to be beating down your door <laughs> wanting to marry you, Um and take on the responsibility of raising another man's child. And, and um, a lot of times it's an ego issue. It's a, you know, the, the male ego is something to be reckoned with. And so it's an ego issue, you know. It's just like, well, and some men, you know, if they don't have any kids, they're looking at, well, I, wanna, I, don't, I don't want an instant family. You know, I want my own children, and, you know, I want to have my own kids, and, you know, I don't want to take on with somebody and have an instant family. And so some men are looking at, looking at it that way as well. And so um, if you have three kids already and, you know, he's coming into the relationship, you know, you might you might have got your tubes tied or whatever. You ain't trying to have no more kids. Well, if he wants to have another child, you know, well, that might be an issue for him. You know, I want to have my own family. I don't want to take on with some somebody that has an instant family. And so that's an, that's another issue, and that's another reason why some men may shy away from being with a single mom. So, uh, <laughs> you know, you know that's you know, unfortunately, it is what it is. You know, um, it, um, anything is possible. You know, um, uh, it's possible. I, I know single moms have gotten married. Um, you know, so I'm not saying that, it, 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 oh, it's never going to happen. No, I don't never say never. That's one thing that I don't say. You know, you don't say never. You know, never say never. It's possible. Anything is possible. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to stay positive. Um, I try to stay positive. <laughs> As much as I can, it, it's very difficult though at times. Um, so I mean, um, uh, as time went on, like I said, when my son was born, my youngest was born, I was really hoping that I would find a husband and father figure for my children, but I didn't. And so as time went on, the older he got, I was like, well, <laughs> I guess I'm in this thing for the long haul. <laughs> So, I mean, I laugh about it now, but at the time, you know, um, when I came to that realization, it was pretty devastating for me. Um, so, um, you know, you just got to be realistic. You know, you just got to be realistic. Just single moms, you know, you just got to be realistic in their expectations and, you know, and just look to God, look to Jehovah God. That's all I can tell you to do. And he will give you the strength that you need to endure being a single mom, you know, he would give you that strength that you need. But those are some of the reasons why, you know, guys shy away from dating single moms, you know. Um, so um, if, if you know some, if you know a young lady, you're looking at this video and you know a young lady out there that um, is in junior high or high school, you might want to share this video with her, let her watch it. So that would make her think twice about going out here, getting pregnant you know, without a husband, you know, yeah, so be, feel free to do that. Um, I just uh, Let me know in the comments section uh, what you think about this topic, you know, what I want to know what your opinions are, what you think about it, um, and feel free to share my video. Please share my video. <laughs> I need as many hits as I can get. I'm just keeping it 100. <laughs> Might talk about this some more. There's more videos to come. Subscribe to my page, Sweet June 2010.